floss you is Narissa from Narissa Stitching Lifestyle. Welcome. Today is Saturday the 6th of January um, 2024. Unbelievable. Can't believe how fast this year is already going and we're on day six. Um, anyway, right, well, we're here today. I'm going to show you what I have done between my last video, which was on Christmas Eve. Um, not a lot of stitching, but a little bit of finishing. And then we're going to head into this ginormous whip parade. Um, this year I have included all of my sampler whips, my mirabilia whips that I've got started, a few other bits and pieces in there, and my Christmas ones that I have already started. I have other ones that I want to do, but these are ones that I've started. Um, so let's start with what I worked on between Christmas and to New, New Year's Eve. After that, we did something else. So probably not in the correct order, but we're just going to pick them up because seriously, if you can see the mess now, you wait till you see the mess after. I will insert photos of what it looked like before we started. Okay, so this was stitched many years ago. And I'm meaning probably, oh, it wasn't long after it came out, I know that. So it's been out for a while, um, but I finally put it together. And it is called Time to Stitch by Needlework Press. Very nice, simple design. Um, so I bought this old clock. Pull the clock mechanism out, she's gone. Um, and it is in here, it's just I think a little bit, I think a bit more glue at the top here, it just keeps popping a little bit. But this is my time to stitch clock. And that will go up on the bookshelf um, when I bring the Christmas down and start putting my other stitching back in its home. So that was fully finished number one. I am going to duck in and out because... Um, I've got no space around me. Okay, finish number two. Now, I cannot pronounce the name, so I did write it down. Hopefully you guys can read that. I think it's Malhat de Avenge. I don't know. About that. By Renato Oh, pardon, pardon. Um, stitched and finished stitching in 2019, and it's taken me till 2023 at the end of the year to get this in laced in the frame. And here it is. So I actually chose to do the white, a white, just a white frame, um, because I think that just helps it pop. But oh my gosh, I love this one with the reindeer scenes. So so happy to have that done. I um, still need to put hardware on the back so I can hang it up. But that will shortly go up on the wall um, in my hallway, which is where all my Christmas stitching lives. Or well, most of it. Um, all season, that hangs up. And then um, we'll come out next year for Christmas. So, yay. So, that was fully finished number two. Uh, fully finished number three. Sorry, oops, that's my glasses. And sorry, you will get a wee bit of crinkling and zip on opening. Can't be helped. Um, was early Christmas morning blackbird designs. Now, I did fin stitch this this year and, oh gosh, got some weight, and finished stitching it. I stitched mine on 40 counts. Here is my top. And if we start there, there's Merry Christmas. No, too bad. With the join here, it's quite hard to get it right up. Oh, look at that. Even a piece of cat fur. They don't want to be on camera, but they don't mind leaving their evidence behind, do they? Love this. It's gorgeous. Really, really pleased. Um, I did... It has got um, wadding in the top. 
um, so I can stick pincushions in it if I want. Um, and the rest of it is filled with walnut, not walnut shells. Well, yeah, light walnut shells. I guess you'd call them walnut shells. Yeah, walnut shells. It's all right. Um, and I haven't got other than cat fur because cats have been on everything today. Um, my base doesn't have anything on because I've already got the 2023 on here. So I'm really happy to have that one completely fine. Um, and the other one I've been working on, which I haven't quite got finished yet, or fully finishing, um, was by Stacey Nash Primitives, and it was Merry Christmas Pin Creek Charm. Once again, stitched on 40 count. Um, and I used DMC 902. It's a nice burgundy colour. It's got some bits left. And this is the top. Um, and we have the side panel. And as you can see with the pins, we've started joining it. Needle's still in there. <laughs> but it's as far as we've got. So that will get finished over the next week or so. Um, be completely fully finished. Sorry, I'm just going to bob out. Um, right, so the thing I stitched on between Christmas Day, well, actually Christmas Eve, and um, New Year's Eve, and I didn't even do a lot of stitching because I have I have been working. Today is my um, literally really my first day off since Christmas, um, and I pulled it out. L Forest Embroidery and it is the Ever Flowering Garden and I started this a couple of Christmases ago on Christmas Day and I seem to only ever pull it out between Christmas and New Year so what should really be only oh sorry itchy nose lost your bitchy nose a couple of years stitching <laughs> it's more likely going to be a couple of centuries stitching anyway that she is being stitched on. Oh, let me find my little notes. 46 count. Now I am using DMC, and this is where I'm up to. So I'm still in like that first row in the first half because here's the middle. So I've this here was added in. Um, the bird was finished off. The va um, in here you can see where my needle is, about where my finger is, and busy doing the flowers in there. The flower here was finished off, and a lot of the blue vine in here. Um, so I've come up one side. I've done the vase, bottom of the vase. Um, because all of this greenery needs to join up with this face. So I want to come now from this way and across. So there's still a little bit to do on that first quarter. But I'm, I'm happy with my progress. I do need to make sure I do pull this out a bit more regularly. Um, otherwise it will definitely turn into a 20 year project at this rate. But love that. So that would be, if you like, whip number one. Because we're going to do a whip parade. And I don't really want to have to pull it out twice. So whip number one. I am going to pop these on the floor behind me. Because literally, they are taking lined up taking on my couch. So I haven't got anywhere else to put them. Hence why we've got this angle. And you can see the tree. Which kind of looks like it's on a lean. But it seriously isn't. Um, and you can see my rosary sampler up there on the wall. And next to that, which is over this way is Elizabeth Weston. Uh, I'm just going to move my glasses so I don't end up breaking them. Okay, so I'm just going to move slightly. So whip number two is my oldest whip. Embarrassingly so. I did have big goals last year and I'm not setting goals this year. Um, my goal is just to stitch on all everything. Um, I think for this year coming because I didn't, I still achieved a lot and I got a lot finished and I got some very big samplers finished. Um, 
putting on other things that I hardly touched. I didn't do a lot of stitching on. I started a lot, as you do. Um, but yeah, I just, my goal was to just to stitch, just to get them, get progress. I'm not worried if I don't finish. I know I'm going to finish some of them, but I don't want to sit and say I want to finish this and I want to finish that. Um, because it, as soon as I say that, I seem to not want to stitch on it. Or I stitch on it for a day or two and that's it. Something else catches my eye and I'm, I'm gone. Anyway, right. So my oldest whip is Heaven and Earth Designs. And it is Dusty Rose. You cannot get this anymore on Heaven and Earth Design. It is not there now. Um, but she is beautiful. So I have done pretty much where this line is across here. So I've done the top half and I'm working my way down. I'm in, in below the bottom half. I'm kind of across, across here. Um, there is still one, two, three rows to go. Right, sorry. This is where I'm at. And I'm working on this this weekend because I thought I'm, I am going to try and work on it once a month because I do need to get this done. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to clean up all this, finish this up. Like I worked, worked um, last night when I got home. I was pretty tired, but I thought, oh, we'll do a little bit. So I worked on this rose here and there's only a few little holes you can see. Um, and then we'll come down here and we'll finish that page up. So that will actually be two pages finished. And then I'm going to come along and I'm actually going to tidy up all my little threads. And I want to do up here. Will I get that done this weekend? Who knows? But I want to finish off and I'll probably bring this one down. Um, because that will finish off that page as well. And then we're just going to work. I'm going to add in the next page. Which brings us to the bum. The bottom of the picture. And then I'm just going to work them down. Because it's a lot easier. It's going to be a lot of these dark colours. Um, so yeah, she's my oldest whip, and she's going to get a lot of love this year, I feel. But, who knows? She could still be going in another five years. Okay, so, my other one that is on, here it is, here's my little bag for it. My next one, which I have seriously, I love this, and I've hardly stitched anything on it this year, which is really disappointing. And it's a Persephone. Persephone by Mirabilia. She is gorgeous. And when you see this, you're going to go, Nerissa, why are you not stitching on it? I have seriously just not done a lot. And it really disappoints me. I'm disappointed with my progress. I don't know whether it's because I'm doing more stitching in hand lately um, rather than using my stands and my scroll rods I don't know but we'll see this is as far as she's got I literally I think I put in 30 stitches this year that is it which is really sad progress um this fabric I did dye myself um mixes of burgundies and pinks um and yeah I've pretty much come down side and then this last time, I, when I stitched on it, I only stitched over in the bottom little loop there and started the next one. And that is it. Disappointed in myself, but that's okay. We will work on it. Right. Okay. So that was the next one. Just, I'm looking at this pile and I'm overwhelmed. It's very sad to say. I'm just going to duck out for a minute over this way to grab some more bags. Okay. So if I grab the furthest away, we'll get the leaning out of the road first. Okay. So, this one, which I always forget to bring and show, because this is kind of my car stitching. And I've been working on the stoneware pin pillows. Um, always forget about it, because occasionally it gets under the seat of the car and you forget where the bag is, because you got other things in there too and I've only I've got them all ready to go so all on let's have a little look see 36 count and this is my first one that I have been stitching and literally 
some days I can get three stitches in before um, someone else turns up for work in the morning so we can go in and get the day going um, but I do have I do have the full set and I'm not stitching them in the blue just trying to find my thread it has gone warped out yeah, oh, there it is I said hold on please hold All right, we have to open up a plastic bag. What am I stitching this on? I am stitching this on DMC number 32. It's a bit of a purpley colour, purpley blue. Um, I just, I like that. I think it's really sweet. Um, so yeah, that's my cast stitching. And that is in this little wee plastic pencil case. That's why it sits, slides underneath the car seat quite easily. Okay. Alright, so the next one I have is housed in my paint box. I call it my paint box, but I love the colour lilies on this. Gorgeous. Okay. So this is quite an old one as well. I say it's an old one. Others may not. I'm just trying to see. Did I write down? I know here. I know I would have written down when I started it. No, I've just got the fabric on there. It will be, will be somewhere. But that is. Let's roll off the picture, don't I? And Dale. Uh, sorry, it is black and white copy. And Dale, 1827, big and beautiful from Shakespeare's Peddler. Oh, this has probably been going, I would say, three years, um, which for me feels like a long time. And I know I've got some in here that are even older than that. Um, all right, let's make sure we get this around the right way, because she is big, bold, and she is beautiful. So this is where we are at. So this is the top. Um, and when I have picked it up lately, I have just been like, ugh. A thread in across here. I know I worked in this section, these two sections this year, um, and started in on on this one. And we need to come in this way as well. And we come down. Nothing in here yet. I know there's one on one wording that still needs to go on, but down the bottom, we've still got over this this side of it. So pretty much. Very similar repeat from here is over here, um, but we are still getting it. Some of the colours look a wee bit washed out in the camera. Hold on, let me fold it up a little bit more. Um, but when you actually look at them like up really close, you can see them perfectly fine. And I love how it pops on here. I love doing this kind of thing where you just fill in, fill in the shape and then just, that's great, um, get together stitching. Just being able to constantly just stitch. So this is, oh, what did I say? Can I actually read it out? I know I glimpsed it out. Um, here is all the three colours. Absolutely gorgeous. And 40 count. It was hanged up by myself, and I know it was like a blend of cocoa, a cocoa, a pink, some tan. I can't think. There were four colours I mixed together, um, but I do love it. And look how that pops. It's gorgeous. Hi, Baba. You want to come say hi? No. So, Sydney, my smallest cat, which I've talked about a couple of times, but... um. Um, she hasn't actually shown an appearance. I will insert a photo here, so you know who I'm talking about. Um, has just walked past, but normally when she hears me talking, she thinks that we have visitors. Um, so she goes and hides because she's she's a one person cat. She does not like like big crowds of people. And even when my granddaughter is here, she will hide until my granddaughter is asleep. Okay, so the next bag we've picked up. 
I can show you my, my project bags, can I? So this is one of my project bags, which is in the envelope style. And this is a very long bag, which actually used to house the um, Dusty Rose sampler. But I needed to swap it around because I had to fit in exemplars from the heart and they sinned because this pattern is really long and doesn't fit in a normal project bag. So I swapped them around. Now I started this this year. It's being stitched on 36 count baked clay by Fox and Rabbit. Here are my uh, the cool four threads. We've got sampler threads. What else have we got in here? I think mostly sampler threads for the look of it. Oops, there's the two cats having a growly at each other through the window. They get both very jealous of each other. I'll just move my needle. Sorry, there's going to be a few. Don't, don't judge my ball patch, eh? All my uh, grey hairs up there. Okay. So here we are. Here's where I got to when I did my what was that? Sampler stash starts for August and September. Yeah, August and September. Um, and this was one of my eight starts. So yeah, can't wait to get back to this. Can't wait to get back to all of them, really. Um, and that's why I think it gets a wee bit overwhelming sometimes because you love doing the starts and you want to do them and you get all hyped up and you get so far and then it's like, oh, well, I better get back to one of my whips and then you don't get back to the new start and it just, those whips just keep growing. I mean, they're not as bad as they used to be. I can say that. But it didn't help when I started eight new ones. And another one already this year. Okay. Sorry, polish my eye. Okay, so next is one that I literally, when I looked back through my stitching diary, I put one day's worth of stitching in. I'm going to have to unfold the... Sorry. Okay, and this is Winter Beauty Princess by, is it Passoni Ricamo? Oh, I love this lady. She is gorgeous. She's beautiful. Now, this has been stitched using DMCs, and this is one that is rare for me, and it's still in its bob bobbins and on its bobbinated box, and I'm, I'm not changing it. Um, it's not how I normally have all mine now, but it's staying this way. Look, there's even a needle in here part way through. <laughs> how sad is that? And here she is. So we have your, have your face. Hold on. My arms aren't long enough today. We have your face and part of your hair, shoulders, and coming down to work on that beautiful big long dress. So yeah, here's my needle all sitting in here. Shocking, isn't it? And I guess for me, I'm, I'm so not used to working on um, two threads anymore. Most of my stitching is on 36, 40, 46, 56. So I, I use one thread. So these older whips or mirabilias that have two threads, I, um, I sort of stitch in them and I love the designs, but I guess the enjoyment with the two threads is not there at the moment. So they just get a little bit of work. And that's fine. So that's another one. Okay. And then in this one. Oh, sorry. Project bag. Lots of little booties on it. Um, so this one was another start from Stash Sample Starts this year. And it is by Teresa Kogut. Let Love Rain. I've admired this pattern for a very long time. So when I decided I was going to do a bunch of starts, I thought, yep, she's getting in there. 
and this was my start on it and I think I pulled it out for like an hour one evening after that um, so not a lot that's probably about more true to the color of the fabric in there so not a lot of progress on that um, the fabric is let's have a little look see Russian caramel 46 count um, by number 12 Stitch Co and she is on Etsy um, Nikki's fabrics are beautiful Nicholas Nicholas um, but yes so one thing I like about Teresa's patterns is they are DMC so they are affordable for everybody look at these gorgeous neutral colors and then you yeah, that splash of the blue and that dark dark green gorgeous love it so yes need to get back onto that one too i am not counting these this year guys like as a number wise i don't actually want to know how many whips i have and i know that may seem silly but um last year i felt like i put pressure on myself to get my 30 whips worked and down and i lost the enjoyment for a couple of them but yet I've, I've picked them up towards the end of the year and realised that I actually still love them. And I think it was the pressure of, I've got to get this finished, I've got to get it done. So I'm not doing that this year. I, I seriously am not. I, is, I'm stitching what I want, when I want. Because I love it and I want to work on it. I'm going to try not to be monogamous. <laughs> because that would be a terrible year with all these whips. Um, the Rose and the Giant Pear. 1888 from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. It's being stitched on 40 count. And that is my minute tiny start. And seriously, I think after the day I started it, which was in 2021, no, 2022, 2022, I think I didn't even pick it up last year, which is really sad. I'm going to apologize because I know I got through every whip. So maybe I did a thread, half a thread, half an hour even. Probably half an hour is probably a bit more realistic. Um, so yeah, hasn't had a lot of love. And it's small, so why is it not completed? But she'll get done. No panics. Okay, next project bag. Older style envelope. So this is another. Oh my gosh, look at that. Brick House Sampler. I am over halfway. Right, this whole side is done apart from like coming along with the leaves. The house is the house is almost there. Like we're over halfway in the house. And then I've got the other side, which is pretty much a repeat of this, apart from the letters of the alphabet. Mm, just sad. But this is being stitched, and this is probably why. On 28 count, one over one. So it's very tiny stitching, which um, I say that, but yeah, I love stitching on 56 count. So how can it be tiny stitching? I think I find 56 count easier than stitching 28 count, one over one. Because um, sometimes, do you know when you're stitching and it slips behind, and then you gotta change the way you do your stitch? Still going in, in the direction you need them to. But yeah, the way that you loop your, your stitch at the back is a little bit different. But yeah, she's gorgeous. And Brenda always comes out with such beautiful designs. It's just so sad. And I do have the little frame for it. So this will give you an idea of how small this is going to be. Like, here's the size of my hand. And it fits in here. I could really pull like this inside this so i know it fits in this tiny little frame which is literally not even the length of the tip of my fingers to my elbow it's tiny so yeah i do need to get that done because oh, i've got the frame ready <laughs> so, it's all good all right sorry for the close-up okay so next project bag I will tell you if these project bags have been made by other people, but the majority of them have been made by me. And some of them are a very long time ago. 
All right, so this one here was another uh, start this year. And it was, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Elizabeth Harding, 1791, from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. You will see I do have an addiction for Hands Across the Sea Samplers, especially if you're new to me and you have not followed this before. Um, using this one, the DMC Threads, I don't think. I have got them, I just haven't used the colours yet, so there is a couple that are still not on their tags. Other colours that I have got on there yet. Um, but yeah, fabric of choice is Antigone, 40 count, and it is another one from number 12, Stitch Coat. I do, I do love her fabrics. Um, Santa was very generous and brought some more of her fabrics and a pattern for me from her. It's very generous, Santa. Here we are and this is across the top and then coming down the side and then this border here which is why I started the, um, the red instead of going all the way around this one here is all Terry and Eyelets and that border goes all the way around on the inside so you need to do that before you can really do any of this so, doing the zigzaggy border and some Algerian eyelets at the same time. So, I really want to get back to that one because I love doing Algerian eyelets. Once you get in the rhythm, they're actually really easy. Um, and that to work on, I find them. There they are. Okay. Right, so my next one is in a project bag. Made by Judith project bags from Judah. She does make them a lot better than I do. Let's just say that. Even with my lesson from her, I still cannot get them as good as Judith makes them. Um, right, so this next project is Mary Ann Diaper. 1826 from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. And this one I am stitching on 36 count. Here's the top. And we have made it pretty much down to the bottom. Um, but then I wanted to add in some of this beautiful colour. So but last year kind of worked around with some of the flowers. Um, and started in on these birds. And I love how the colours pop on this. This is oops, it's the book. This is a fabric that I dyed myself. But look how those colours pop just beautifully. So yes. So I do use a variety of um, size of fabrics, excuse me, for one moment. Oops, and we've got thread down there, and I'll forget which thread it goes with that one. Um, it belongs to. So, yes, could not wait to get back to Marianne Diaper. Um, I do feel I'm going to need to kind of change the, I guess, the way that I work on, on my whips to really get a good dash on everything. But you know what it's like? Sometimes you pick up a whip and... You sink your teeth into it, and and that's that. You can just go for gold for for hours on it, um, and then you pick up the next whip, and it either doesn't hold your interest, or even though you love it and you love the way it looks on the fabric, it might be the fabric that just it's not as it's not as comfy to stitch on as the last one. Um, so you kind of you don't do as much work, which is really even for the same number of days or hours and it's quite disappointing i do catch myself every now and then having an evening where i sit there holding my needle and my thread and my um, cross stitch my embroidery and i'll be watching a floss tube or i'll be watching a movie or something and in an hour and a half i might get 10 stitches in 
the next movie or the next project. <laughs> that and a half, I might get 200 stitches in. It, honestly, I don't know why. It just seems to be some days. It's whether it's my brain can't concentrate or it's the project, I do not know. Anyway, sidetracked. Okay, the next one. Station Nash Primitives Christmas at Hollyberry Farm. This one is being stitched on 40 count. And doing a little sound with Susie. She is miles ahead of me at the moment. I need to pull this out and work on it. But yes, gorgeous. Um, and here is my threads. I love the colours in this. They are so simple and so but yet they work so effectively in this um pattern. So I love how Stacey Nash does do that. I do have a pile of Stacey Nashes that I um, need to get working on. Okay, just going to drop that one behind me. Alright, so next project bag. Oh, another gorgeous one from Judith. Um, and this one holds my Oofendel sisters. So, oh, we can't see her. We move the camera and I don't want to make you guys sick. There's Anne up there, proudly above the TV. Okay. Um, so she's there. I love her. So we have a little stitchy Zoom get together. Um, there's some ladies in New Zealand and some ladies in Australia. And we all are stitching the Oofendale sisters or have started them. Some have them and haven't started them yet, but are still part of our group, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and I am currently sitting, stitching on Isabella, 1829. And she has been stitched on... Have a little look, see? 36 count. And I did her on 36 count because I did Anne on 36 count. So I wanted them to be on the same so i have got down to the bottom so i don't know how big she is but this is where because i only pull it out one night a month or one afternoon a month depending on what time i finish on the monday so sometimes i might get a couple extra hours in before we have our zoom thing but pretty much it's only our zoom meeting so i'm working along the top there but i wanted to put this Divider grass and divider border, which has still got one more colour. So the next meeting we have, that's probably where I'll concentrate. Um, because then I can start doing, uh, instead of just the border, I can do a piece of border and I can start bringing in all of this. Which will be nice to get some more goodness in. Because then I can do, you know, like the outline of one of those in the night and then if I need full in the leaf colour or whatever the next time. Sorry, it's just my neighbour coming home very noisily. So yes, loving how that's turning out. Um, but it is amazing what I can get done in one session. And I, yeah, I just don't get in myself why that happens with me with certain projects. But I guess it's it's how much you love one compared to another. Oops, this one's got a thread caught on it, so I'll just thread that out. Okay, so my next project bag. Beautiful. It's with the little key cats with the little wood hats on. There's no I just noticed that there's no black pussy cats. Why my babies? Come on, my babies are black. Okay, so this one here. Houses, Simone Smalls. I couldn't wait to get this box. I couldn't wait to start. I started on one. Sadly, on one. I need to pull this out. Because this is another one that is, let's have a look, 36 count. Yep. So nice, easy stitching. And this is the one I'm doing. Up first. And it is the fabric of straight, it's just folded over. Um, and that's the little knee needle. That's this one here. 
the roll piece here. I started with that. And I want to get that stitched, at least stitched, before I start one of the others, because I, I know what will happen otherwise. I'll have all these pieces, and I've, I've got fabric to um, get going on them. My colours, so I did choose slightly different to what she had, I think. Mine is eight, DMC 815, and the blue is 926. Or maybe they are the cool four. Let's have a little look. See. Um, where is it in here? I love in this book how she gives you all of the um, instruct. You know, like the ins assembly instructions. It's really nice. Just double checking. Can't see it here. Gives you the fabric to use. Gives you the pieces. I think that no, I don't think it was called for. Maybe it was. Um, if you want to see them a lot better, there's all the all of them there in the back. So if you haven't got this, this book is absolutely gorgeous to stitch from. The pattern is lovely to follow. I do recommend it. Okay, let's go with the light one. Righty hi. Next one is in. Oops. And there's a fox in this pussy bag. And it is. Now I did finish the companion piece to this um, this year. So this one is the. In All Things Be Exceedingly Diligent by Needlework Press. And who's been stitched? Pick it back in there. On 40 count that I dyed myself. I have got quite a bit of progress. I just need a good iron. Sorry, I didn't iron them because we'd have still been here till 5 o'clock this afternoon trying to get this otherwise. Love how the colours pop on it. So we've got a wee bit, wee bit done. Here's the DMC colours. Um, I think if I remember right, I am pretty much. I've done most of this. I've come along here. I know I've got over here a little bit in this part to do. Um, and then I think I'm just into the sampler part, which won't take long. It won't take long at all, but it just one of those ones that you need to pull it out and work on it, Norris. If you seriously do. But that's okay. Okay. Alright, my next one is this is the project thing. And it's little name tags falling out. So I have to make a new one to put in there. Okay. So this is Florence Mary Dickinson. It's gorgeous. Um, so that was a limited edition sampler from Hobby House Needleworks. Um, it's being stitched on Tabby, Tabby Cat, I think it is. Let me have a little look, see. Let's have a look. Yep. Uh, cream Gorilla Tabby Cat Linen using 103 silk threads. Just wind them up because these come undone for some reason. Not sure why, but they end up all over the place. And this is where I'm at. Started off keeping up with the cell and then hmm, got sidetracked. I think I chose 40 count. I think it's 40 or 46. No, 46 count green brulee. And I do love how the colours do pop on this fabric. Need to get back to this. There's actually not a lot of, um, I should say, not a lot of stitching in it. Um, there's a lot done, but I mean, we've done, done here, here, here. We're working on. 
we've done part of the border so yeah there's still there's still a fair bit of stitching to do I guess that's most of them are smaller motifs now apart from the rest of that big flower yeah big flower another tree and then the rest of it's smaller motifs so it shouldn't take too long one thing I will say is I do like getting the kits from um, Hobby House Needleworks because they put they put it all into these little wee bags for you. And there's my Nanak McPhee. Um, I left it on here rather than putting it on this because I didn't. My cats like to play with them because you know it's Mum's jewellery and we can't play with play with Mum's jewellery and we think Mum's not watching. We are about, I would say, halfway through the ones on the couch. We haven't even started the other ones yet. Sad, isn't it? All right, it's my addiction. <laughs> I love my addiction. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's another oldie and goodie. Sarah Brazier, 1829. She was the Queen of the May for 2018 from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. This one is being stitched on 56 count. Oops, the project bag. This is the project bag for her. It's a lovely simple floral fabric in the blue. All right, I'm just gonna pop the book in there so we don't lose it. Here are all the threads, DMC threads. You can tell when the ones that I start doing a lot of stitching on because they start getting there. That little bit of worn out look going through them oh, nice anyway so i did work a, quite a bit on this last year um, and i think i'm going to put it back on the scroll rods just because it's getting a little bit cumbersome to do in hand now um and i really want to get some of those satin stitches done so i can just start basically scrolling down uh, but i do love how this is coming out absolutely gorgeous not wait to get back to this one. Oh, I know you'll get you're gonna get sick of hearing it from everybody, but we all know how we all feel. All right, so another one, good old good monk. So when I did whatever the other one is, it's over there, I did toe style. So one is this. I'm right envelope on the up was that longer one. Okay, so this was a new start for this year. I can't remember if I did it in the sampler stash starts or was it just a start? Um while Iris snapped designs at Mary Gibson 1828. Now this was um an exclusive for I can't think of the group on Facebook. It has to be on face that particular Facebook group. And if I remember, I will um, put it in here or I'll put it in the description below. So I chose what am I stitching on uh, 40 count thorn field linen by Needle and Flex. This is the first time I've used her linens. Um, so it was great. That's, that sometimes is the advantage of buying these kits. You get to try a lot of different linens, whether um, it's the maker or even just the colours. Because in New Zealand, you can't get a lot of these um, unless you want to pay astronomical prices for shipping. Um, so, yeah. Coming along beautifully. She's going to be a big girl. A big piece. Um, but you all know I like my big samplers. So she's been stitched with wet dye works. So she's beautiful. I'm sure it is. Yep, 40 count. So yes, here's another sample. Okay, the next one. Oops, <laughs> um. I used to make a lot of the, um, the envelope bags, and I still love the envelope bags. Um, that's, um, the instructions for making these are on uh, Fauna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitches Floss Tube. Um, and that, 
and yeah I, I still like them especially for some of the longer pattern books they're actually a lot easier to get the pattern books in and out of oh this one I always struggle to pronounce Maria Vincenza La Riccia I think it is 1837 from Hands Across the Sea Studio Sumter Studios oh Hands Across the Sea Designs love this one now this is being stitched using silk for you silks um pb034 so it's quite a bergen wow. i'd call it a raspberry wheat red um it's not really a burgundy one but it's definitely a ras more of a raspberry red Okay, and this is being stitched on Antique Lace 46 count from number 12 Stitch Co. And this is where I'm at so far. It's kind of a bit hard to tell. It's actually in the middle about there. It's quite close. It's kind of more of a greeny background. It's very hard to get a clear shot. Even when I try and take photos um, for Instagram and Facebook, it's, it doesn't quite show up. It's a yellowy green. It's, yeah. It's very hard to get that right color tone. So probably about right there. Maybe not quite. I love, love stitching on this. Um, let me get back to all of them. Okay, so next one, is it big? Any behinds? Um, is from Scarlet House, the Smith Sampler. I love this, I so need to get it finished. It's just gorgeous. Okay, there, all right. Moving our uh, stitching, here we go. And once again, it only got pulled out for a tiny bit this year. Oh, we haven't got very far, that's in the bottom corner. I either need to do the base framework. Maybe I should do that. I do that base framework line. And then I could put the, each border in. And then it doesn't matter, I can jump all over the place. I need to I need to make that decision. Hold me to it. So I can get that done. Um, just trying to see. I think it's being stitched. 40 count. See my little notes on there. And here are the colours. And they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And you ask, Nerissa, where are you going to fit all these when they're finished? Don't you worry, I've got plenty of wall space left. Okay, next call envelope project bag is these elephants. I had to buy this as soon as this fabric came into work. It is so cool and funky. I'm sorry, it's definitely been a few couple of years ago. So this has definitely got another older whip. This is a butternut road rose sampler. And the angle's way better. Now, this is, once again, I mean, some of these have only had a day, maybe two this year. I guess when you have so many whips and you're trying to get through them all, it does take a little bit. Yeah, that's where I'm at. So... Coming along, do the dividing walls so that I can, um, once all that's done, I can just get into it. And, oh, you can tell this is an older one because look, <laughs> it's way back, so I have not done that for a while. Um, so some are on bobbins in there, some are just the skeins. Um, and I am using a couple of water f uh, wildflowers by Karen Lilies um, colors in this as well and that's the one that I've been stitching on at the moment 
So yes, let me take it. Um, right, next one. Love the Paisley fabrics. Okay, so in here, this one was a new scarf this year too. Let's have a look. GH1557. Ah, oh, this is absolutely loveless. This is gorgeous. Um, oops, I don't want to lose the thing. So, Wet Sky Works. It looks like a lot there, and it is, but I am doing this on 40 count. Oh, make sure it's 40. It's 40 count, Russian Caramel by number 12, Stitch Co. I'm just going to pop that to the side because this is quite a big piece. Off fabric, anyway. Right, so there's the top. There's the bottom. So that was in one of my um, August, September sampler starts, sampler stash starts. So haven't got very far in that, but oh my gosh, I love the colours. Look at that little thing. Just pops, especially that blue on this fabric. Gorgeous. And I put this little wee blue one in here. Um, sorry. Oh, we can't see it. But in the border, like up here, they're all like browns and tan, you know, tans, and then you get a, a sprinkle of blue. So it's I've put in the blues as I've gone, um, just so that I know where I'm at in my border, rather than having to count, count, count every all the time. But I do plan to stitch once we've done the sampler, or mostly way through the sampler. I want to start some of the smalls that go with it as well. So yes. Another one that needs to. Oh, I need about 48 hours in a 24 hour day, I feel. Okay, next one. And this project bag came from Fox and Ra Rabbit um, Patreon. Okay. Um, I was in that for almost a year. Um, I have. I have actually stopped all my Patreon ones this year because I've got so many patterns anyway that, as you can see with my whips, and I also keep buying patterns, and I've got my Patreons, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to put that Patreon money towards getting these framed. So yes, I will. I'm not saying I'm not going to buy any more patterns because I already have quite a few still on the way that were ordered pre-Christmas. Um, two packages that were supposed to be out for delivery yesterday that haven't turned up. Bit worried about that, but well, if they're not here by Monday when I get home from work, there'll be some words. Uh, anyway, Elizabeth Furness, 1836. Hands across the sea samplers. I've loved this since it came out. Finally, but the bulletin brought it, and it sat there, and it sat there, and I watched, um... Oh my gosh. Socks for mum. Who else is doing it? Um, Carol started at roughly about the same time as I have. Um, salt box stitcher. And oh my gosh. Pumpkin hollow quilts. I've been watching Pew Progress last year on it. And a couple others. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. Oh, can't think of your YouTube, sorry. Um, it's gone out my head. Anyway, so this is being stitched on 40 count linen that I dyed myself um, with rip dye, um, tan and brown combo. And here is where I got to in my sampler start. So it's very cool. Sorry, they're getting a little bit washed out. I've got um, great big windows here in front of me. And the sun has <laughs> moved from behind the tree and is now basically washing everything out. And if you can hear a kitty cat meowing, that is Kitty. You know, the one that normally knocks our camera about. Yep, she's on the outside. She's, she's my, one of my indoor-outdoor. She likes going out. Um, 
but she didn't see me sitting here, so she thinks that it, she should be able to annoy me. I'll let her in. I'll let her in once we're done. Sorry. Okay, we're going to do you up, are we? Let's pop you back over there. Right, there's about eight, seven or eight more on the couch here. Okay, next project bag. And I love this fabric. Bought it many years ago. And it just sat there. <laughs> you know how sometimes you walk into a fabric shop and you see, you not you see it and you just know you're going to make something with it, but you don't know what you're going to make with it? I have that problem. And I work with fabric every day. So it's not, it's not good. Okay. And this one is another Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Okay, and this is Jane Bannister, 1855. It's a Welsh sampler. But oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that sprinkles. Just the scenes in that that these young girls used to put into these is amazing. Okay, so she is being stitched Ow. on 40 count antique or country mocker sampler, depending on where you are in the world, is what it's called. And that's my start, just the top corner and the top basket. And doing that border is so gorgeous. Like those colours are just magnificent. Right. They look kind of, I guess for me, these are very pastels. Compared to some of my other other ones which are either all neutrals or all brights they are very pastels um, but yes love that I need to... I'm gonna have... i think when i'm finished this i'm just going out i don't want to deal with the mess after this <laughs> oh. okay next project bag it's made with just a little wee sewing motif fabrics Another envelope style. This was another sampler, sash sampler start. This one, I've been dying to stitch for such a long time. Bought the pattern pre-COVID. So 2017, 2000, yeah, about 2017, I think. I hummed and hard and hummed and hard. And you know how you think, oh, it's too big. But seriously, I do big samplers, so why did I think this was too big to do? So I got started this year. Okay, so called for DMC threads. Pinks, the blues, the greys. And here was where I got in my stash a sampler start. The top corner of the tree into the archway which is basically from where my finger is coming this way apart from the lady haven't done and finished the border coming along so we've pretty much got that top part done which is actually quite cool so yes let's get back to that so i've got these big ones definitely down packed for good starts Okay, let's bring it back. So this one is the only one I've currently got going of um, Brenda Keys, which is really sad because I own about seven or eight of them. And I have finished one. And let's see if we make you dizzy again and move the camera just over. If we go there, not this, this. Gosh, go the right way. Over here, right next to the tree with the big red house. Um, and that is the big red house sampler from Brenda Kay. Stitched that a couple of years ago now. I think 2020 that was done. Um, and pretty much when I was about halfway through that, I, I bought a whole heap from here. And I finally got around to starting another one. So this one is called... Hold. Right, the Contented Mind Sampler. This is being stitched on. Looks like 
looks like 14 as such. Just hold please. I find my notes. Hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit 46 count. Ooh, didn't think it looked quite like 40. And I just found my needle. It's right there in the top corner. Alright, so that's where I'm at. So we're making some progress, which is nice. Getting that uh, wording in so we can get a good basis for where we need to go. Just break my finger. Here's all the beautiful. This one has some really lovely colours in it. So it's the fact that mine get all knotty. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Pop him back in there. Okay, we're down to last four of these whips anyway. Okay, next one. Hannah Campbell, 1838, Hands Across the Sea Samplers. And we are using 103 threads and stitching on. Now I'm pretty sure. That's the main things. There's my little thing here. Um, 46 count vintage sand dune from Lakeside Linens is my chosen linen. Um, I got mine from Traditional Stitches. And here is my sound. So not too bad. Like I haven't done. I've basically come up, you know, around here. Done the outline of the sky and started coming across the borderline. So pretty much done the outline of the, of the top half. So now we need to do the full one. I might. Yeah, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one in this. But she's gorgeous. Love her. Oh. Now, I didn't show you the project bag, did I? Getting slack. Right, so. Beautiful. And it's gone. Okay, next project bag. This was another one from um, Fox and Rabbit's Patreon. The bag was. The project's not. The project is from is N got 1848 from Needlework Press. Fell in love with this one. As soon as it came out, had to have it. Bought it. Got started. Got sidetracked. And this is it. It's really, yeah, I really washed out in those colours. Yeah, it's probably a bit more about where it sits in reality. Um, yes. I haven't got a lot done on this one. Uh, cold forward threads. Classic colour works. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and my fabric is Seraphin Colour Bees Knees. And this was cut up by the Attic Needlework. Um, and I got that at the same time as I actually bought the rosary sampler. So I finished one. Get on with that one. Okay, second to last large whip. Yes, hello, Kitty is another new start from this year cross stitch antiques antique sampler productions and this one is i had a father kind and true um alice clark 1844 now i love this beauty i'm stitching this on 46 count 103 silk threads uh 46 count hog bristle from fox and rabbit
Then I start it in the bottom, bottom corner. And here's the big tree that goes at the bottom. Down. So I started down here, I come down here a little bit, across here and with the big tree. So I wanted to get that, um, I wanted to get that big tree done. Oh, big tree. Something about stitching the Adam and Eve trees are gorgeous. So yeah, and that red on there, oh, lovely. I love those little strawberries. So yes, major big project. Then Arissa needs to get back to. Right, yeah. I'm just gonna throw that one over there. Okay. Lucky last big one before the Christmas ones. This is such fun. And those that know me will know the irony of this because I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> but it's about celebration. <laughs> I guess I had some fabric lying around. Wine glass fabric on the inside. Okay, so this one oops, has two projects in it. I'm just going to pull that little wee one out. Um, right, and I started this. Did I start this this year? I think I did. So this is Jeanette Douglas, My Stitching Treasures. I'm doing the box lid. Oh, I didn't pull my box out to show you. So the box that I've got, I've calculated out that this will fit on there. And it looks tiny when you see it on here. Make sure you get it in the right way. I think it's that way up. Um, this has been stitched on 40 count. I gotta learn what the name of the fabric is in a minute. But that will fit inside the box that I have. And to go with that, I also have the companion pieces, which is my stitching treasures accessory. So this is the part that goes on the inside. Which with a little, I believe with a little bit of modification around that border part um, will fit into the box that I've got. And there it is. So this one is being done on 40 count de bloom by pitch oh picture this box fabric gorgeous okay Whew. let's just take a look no one more the other one that was in the project um and this one is keeper of the pins with thy needle and thread. And seriously, that is my start. Needle in there as well. Some of these I just, I got started for, I was like, oh, I'm gonna put that in the car, I'm gonna take that for, you know, staff room at work, etc. And I haven't got very far with them, as you can see. Just get tied up doing other things. That's another whip. Okay, I'm going, I don't really want to pause and have to edit too much this one because it's going to take a long time to upload. So you're going to have to be with me bobbing and wobbing. Right, so this is now the Christmas whips. Righty high. And a little wee Christmas. Elf story bag. Okay, so in here is, this is when I started this year. Just trying to find one cover page if I can. Yep. Okay, and it is Hands On Designs 12 Days of Christmas. So I do have the whole set. Um, and this is where I met. So number one is finished the partridge. Doves is three quarters done. Uh, what have we got? Hens. And birds have pretty much got their names in little bit. Rings, geese, swans, and a ma for mates. So one completed, completely stitched, one three quarters, and the rest are about halfway through. Um, 
for each of those and they are being stitched in. And another look. 36 count is stick red from Weeks Dye Works. So yes, yeah, more Christmas ornaments to get done. And we're gonna throw them on the couch. Okay. Oops. Next one here that is still works in progress. Get everything out the right way is from Home for the Holidays. Now I'm stitching the stocking series in here, and I have finished number one, and I am stitching this number two. All right, we're gonna lose a needle in a minute. We don't want that because I haven't got any shoes on, they might hurt. And number two is started. Um, there's five, I think. Stopping, yep, five stockings um, in the series to be done. And they are being stitched on. Just a little tag again. 40 count bramble. Why picture this? Plus. Now I'm pretty sure that's the fabric um, that Megan gave me. We were in the donating. Stitch retreat. I think that's right, isn't it, Megan? <laughs> um, so thank you. Definitely going to the juice. Okay. Oh. <sighs> right, so it was me thinking I had finished the 2023 Prairie School of Santa. Duh. I haven't put the words in up here. And I still seriously, what's that? Ten minutes work if you're lucky. And I still haven't got around to it. So you know what? You'll get done sometime this year. Okay, another one is Little House Needleworks Christmas Ornament. And this is from the Sampler Tree Ornament Series. And it is called Deer Valley Inn. This is being stitched. <laughs> you can tell this one used to go back and forth to work. And coffee stains all over the pattern. Lucky for me, it never seems to always hit the fabric, just the patterns. Anyway, so here's my mega little wee start on that one. Didn't get around to really stitching that this year, so got sidetracked with um, Priscilla and Chelsea's ornaments. Got to get that finished because I've only got that and I think two others, and that's that whole sampler ser ornament series finished. Let me just dig from it up. Okay, next one is from Blackbird Designs. Feliz Navidad. This is still a whip. I think I finished one more little ball this year. And that is it. That's my start. This is on 40 count. Um, because I've done the other um, Christmas samplers from them in the same fabric. So I want, to, want them all to go together. So yes, not very far on that, but she's still a whip, Christmas whip. Okay, so in this one here, oops, here's all the DMCs. So sometimes when I'm doing, um, especially Christmas ones, I use my older DMC um, on my bobbins because I don't bobbinate anymore. But I don't want to unravel them. I'll just use them as they are. Right, so in here is three more Christmas starts. Erica Michael's Jolly Soul. And this is where I'm at. Got the border, so these are on 40 counts, so they're not going to be very big. I mean, this is the size of my hand. You can see how small that ornament's going to be. But, oh my gosh, that Mr. and Mrs. Claus on there, absolutely gorgeous. So yes, working on that one. Okay, number two in this project, because I've got the same piece of fabric that there was about three or four on, is Scarlet House Christmas in the Village. This is gorgeous. And I love how the colour is standing out on this. Here, make sure I show you the front, not the back, and on this fabric. So there's my, there's my mega start. I think I'm just about at the edge to then be able to come back up. 
Okay, and my last one in on this bag is from Reindeer Games, Erica Michael. Um, I'm not doing the drum yet. I will do the drum, but at the moment I'm doing, I guess, the word search puzzle, you would call it, or the word puzzle. Um, and reindeer goes that way. He goes that way. He's cute. But yeah, so need to get back to that. So there's not a lot of stitching on those, but I wanted to get them started and ready to go. Um, because then I've only got to pull them up and get on with it. And three in one bag makes it a lot easier. Okay, whoops. There's about six more to go. Rightio. Let's have a look. Rightio. This one here. Not very Christmassy bag, I know. But that's okay because this one is almost completed. And I just dropped a couple. Um, Little House Needleworks Kringles. I tried hard, but there was just so much going on at Christmas time. I didn't quite make it to the end. I seriously am almost there. Right. All of the top is finished. The top rooms are finished apart from the French knots in their eyes. Um, second story is all done apart from the, the creamy teddy bear here, which you can see in real life. Her eyes, his eyes. It's pretty much the French knots. Fancy that. Um, there's two big snowflakes on either side here, and French knots in here, and I've got to do the gold, in the, um, metallic gold in the chandelier, and then the French knots on here. The other little part, which I have white there, so right at the bottom of the shop, and I don't know how I missed it, is, I forgot the snow under here, and the snow under this one. So I've got those two stitch as well. So almost there. But honestly, once I picked up my sampler from Christmas Day, I didn't want to go back to this. And that's okay. I can um she'll be done by Christmas next year. Right. And the next one that's sitting here before they all fall off precariously is more prairie schoolers. So pretty much up to date with those yearly ones got seriously 10 minutes i probably could have done it this morning but i had other things to do um i'm working on the chris kringles um prairie schooler book number 62 i have stitched one which is a start and make sure i get them around the right way start and finish this year i think Pretty sure. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> it's all the fairy dust. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I think I can edit that out. If not, sorry. Um, so Prairie Quarter Skin Center. These are stitched on 40 count with the cool tool DMC threads. Um, so I'm working on to see but it's this little wee one up here and that is where i'm at pull my thread out of the road tiny little wee bit got his belt and we're starting on his blue cloak um, just need to get the outline on that done and then he'll be able to be away quickly so they do need to be done for this year i don't do i know we don't just do one i try and do the set so they get done. So we've got that, that. All right, we've got four bags to go. Okay, so another set that I am working on is by the Prairie Schooler. Christmas trees, and this is number 82. And these just been stitched um, on fabric from Country Stitch. Dot com, which is a New Zealand fabric dyer. Oops, that way. 
um, she's got some lovely fabrics if anybody is interested. This one is 40 count and it's called Pepe. Um, and here we are. Here's my tree, one of my trees. Oh, as you can see, not much to go and this tree will be finished. But these six, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six trees in here and then a little, um, another square one. But I do like how they've done the Christmas in white and in green. I like how they've done that. So I may do that as well. And give me seven Christmas trees. So that's another series that's just being slowly worked on. Now this is in, you know, the most expensive project bags that we own. Otherwise, I'm really, I'm not running out of project bags, I'm running out of Christmas project bags. But yet I have a wardrobe full of Christmas fabric and just need to make some more bags. Okay, this next lot is the ones that I, that fabric's not got anything out, that's the spare piece that I have been working on. And have I got a printed one? I have. Now these are in black and white and I do apologize for that. But I have stitched some of Priscilla and Chelsea. So stitching the housewives Christmas roundabouts. The little pink ones. I love them. They are gorgeous. Um, so they're from the like the vintage Christmas series. So here are hers. Here's number one. The second one. It's the start on the third one. And there's five. Yes, four plus the bonus. Five. And then I do want to stitch a few others in here of Priscilla and Chelsea's. Um, that I do want to get stitched. And there is the Christmas Vintage Christmas that they brought out this year on the same kind of fabric. So I do have that as well. Um, and they did have the little stripper ones. Um, and I normally haven't done the stripper ones, but I quite like them on the little Christmassy pink ones. So I think I will do those as well. Another very special project there. Okay. Second to last bag, and this one has a couple of series in it. So this is it's all my fabrics, week style works. Here is my current Christmas strawberry. I'm up to number eight, and they are from the Erica Michaels. 12 berries of Christmas. I'm up to number eight. So one to seven are stitched, but not finished. So that's in here. So what's that? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Five to go. Get on to that. Um, another one that is in here and has been started uh, the caroling berries from Erica Michaels. Um, I think I'm using the called for three garnet. By Wheat Steinworks. If not, it's one I've chosen. Um, doing these on 40 count, and here is my little wee start on those. I'm going to do. I've started doing them as the cushions, but in the red or burgundy. Um, I may still go back and do do the berries as well. Haven't really made up my mind yet, or I might might do half and half. Um, there's another set in here as well. Let me just have a quick check to make sure. Nope. Okay, so that's that bag. Right, and the last one, which has been going for a while, is Merry Christmas from Elle Forest Embroidery. Um, let me see. So I have got some that I have. Oops, no, I'm going to lose, lose the pins. It won't be very good. Okay, I have done and finished. They're all, all ready. Just need to sit down and do some lacing. And a R. Oops, where's my fabric gone? 
And so they're all finished stitched. Just seem to be put together. No, there must be some more. There's another arm. It's finished as well. And there's Y. And we're about halfway through that. So we've almost finished with Mary. And then this one needs to start on the word Christmas. Um, so yes, they will need to be worked on as well. That's all my whoops. Actually, no, it's not. That is all my whoops, apart from what I started on New Year's Day. Oh, so on New Year's Day, I started my blessing sampler for January. If I can just find the cover photo, here it is here. So I started Sarah Spencer 1870 from hands across the sea samplers. Um, so I searched on this for the first four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I put it away. And I have worked in between there. I haven't had the um, luxury of having the holidays off. I did have part of the first off, um, but this is where I'm at. So I've come down the whole side, so I know that's that's the height. Come across the bottom, that's the whole width, and then we started coming back up through the middle because I wanted to do some of that. Um, so we've still got to go across the top and down this other side to, fill in, to do, complete the borders and then the part in the middle. So that's my blessing sampler. Uh, 40 count antique or um, country mocker. And these are the called for um, DMC threads. That's so the that is my blessing sampler. Okay, so I do have some new starts lined up. Um, I have a birthday in a few weeks, so I have a couple of such longs I'm doing with some friends. Um, with Susie, I'm waiting for my. We're going to do a such long um, with the ex current exclusive from Hobby House Needleworks. Um, from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Hers has arrived. I'm still waiting for mine to turn up. Um, have messaged them again today to find out what is going on because it has been a very long time. Um, but that will be coming. So then I do have... We'll be starting that with Susie and hopefully on um, Susie's birthday we will start that. If not, she can start and I'll start where mine arrives. All right, so my other one that I want to start when I got another Project V from Judith. Thank you, Judith. I love this one. This is my Harriet Salt Project V made with the Harriet Salt fabric. It is gorgeous. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so... If you can't guess from the project bag what I'm starting for my birthday, the other sample I'm starting on my birthday. <laughs> Oops, we don't need the needles, do we? But we don't want to lose those. Right, so I'm going to use, I'm doing mine in a burgundy. And this is 103, number 648. And I am starting Harriet Salt. 1866, orphan number 1628. Now I know they say um, do it in a ready. Oh, I really want the burgundy. I want the burgundy because to me on the bag, she looks more burgundy. And I love my bag. So Harriet is going to be stitched. 103s. Oh, sorry. Colour number 648. And here's a little tester that I did. Did that this morning to see if I like it. So I'll leave a dart with the other ones behind it. Um, there it is there. That's uh, 12 stitches. 56 count. So she is going to be 
This is as wide as the fabric needs to be. Half a meter. And then it's, I think it's about the same for the, for the drop, but I'm not gonna cut that off yet. We're going to leave that um, and just to be safe because I'm not getting all the way to the bottom of that to find out I'm short on fabric. I know how to measure, that's okay. I don't know how to cut, but let's just make sure we're safe. So we're ready to go. Got my 103s, got my needle, got my fabric, got my pattern, got my project bags. It's come my birthday. Even if I'm starting two, two or three samplers, because I think it's gonna be three, on the same day, we're gonna do it. Okay, so my other one of which I've got plenty of fabric on that um, 56 count um, that I am starting is the one that is from, now this is an old book, um, Family Circle Cross Stitch. Um, and this was published in, does it say in the front of the book? Let me just double check and see. That's a contents page. And then it goes into that. It doesn't give a date. Maybe at the back of the book. It was published copyright in 1993. So it's definitely an older one. But you might be able to get it on the secondhand market. A friend um, picked it up in the secondhand shop for me. Well, she picked up and then she found sampling. She knew that oh, I would want to do it, and I do. This is the sampler here. And that is another one that I want to do for my birthday start. Um, the frustrating thing with this one is it doesn't actually give you a count. So, little peek at the fabric pack, cat and piece. So it's old fashioned, you know, it's on a big fold out sheet. And it doesn't give me, you know, one to 10, 10 to 20, etc. along the top and the sides. So I actually have to sit down and do another count because I think I'm out somewhere um, to make sure that my piece of fabric is big enough. If that piece isn't, I've got more fabric anyway. Um, I have all the DMC threads for that already. And we'll get started on that one. Right. If you guys could see the mess behind me, or beside me, I'm going out. <laughs> I really am. I don't want to clean this up. Um, that is it, guys. That is my current whips and my next three projects. Um, well, actually, there's four. I have the new one from Traditional Stitches. Um... Just got the notification yesterday that that is now on its way, which is great, awesome. Um, that's the exclusive Hands Across the Sea samplers one to them. Um, yep, so that's on its way. So that's normally from Canada takes about three weeks, which is fine. I don't want that as a birthday start. I have another plan for that one, um, which is a stitch along. I think that starts in February. Um, and if I don't start it in February, I will. I plan on an Easter weekend start with that one. Um, so yeah, so that's that's another four new samplers to add to the add to the circle, but that's okay. We'll get them done, and hopefully you'll get to see lots of progress on my whips this year. So thank you guys. I know this has been a long one. It's going to take forever to upload, <laughs> um, and I will I will have to watch this and put 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 everything in an order of my whips on there for you guys, um, and for my own own records later on as to um, what I started the year out with. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to subscribe. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. I am still working on my giveaway um, for a year, um, but we're just over 100 subscribers away from that 3,000 mark. So if we can get to that, I will um, make the um, giveaway even better. I'll, I'll add in a couple of extra things into it. Um, so please like and subscribe, that really helps um, get my, my videos noticed. 
which will be great. Um, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it to this end, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I understand with all these what parades, they're very long. I watched um, my friend Judy do her one last, watched hers last night. I was too tired to stitch. Um, so I actually did some organisation last night and um, a little bit, not planning, but just working out what else I needed to order and buy to, to cut up some more new projects. Um, so got all that list done while I was watching her work parade and that was two hours long. So I come under less than Jodie, um, but yeah, I loved every minute of hers. It was absolutely wonderful to see all the things that she stitches. She stitches a, a bigger variety than what I do um, and I love them. Love that she chooses bright colours and she chooses blacks and whites and greens and pinks and purples. Absolutely awesome. Loved it, Judy. Thank you for getting me entertained. Um, I'm just trying to think who else I've watched lately. Uh, Creatively, which is another New Zealand floss tuber. So I've watched her finish parade and her whip parade. Um, love those as well. Thank you, Lee. Um, yeah, Lee's like me. She's got a lot of projects. <laughs> um, even Judy does. We 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 all, if you really be honest with ourselves, we all have a lot of projects. Um, and that's the fun part of it. You don't get stuck doing bored and doing this same little thing over and over again. I know it's one X at a time and it's just an X, but it's still, yeah, keeps you going, having variety. Um, let me see, anything else I can think of? That's probably it really, guys. You're up to date with my stitching. You're up to date now with all my projects, with my new starts um, that are coming up in the next few weeks. I'm hoping to do another video in the next few weeks. We'll see. Um, I haven't done a finished one yet and I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to do one for all my finishes from last year. We'll see. We'll see how much stitching we get done in the next few weeks. Um, yeah. It's a busy, very busy time at work for the next three weeks. So if I manage to get a thousand stitches in over three weeks, I think I'll be quite happy with myself because they're going to be very long days. Um, yeah, rambling now. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember, one stitch at a time will get these projects done, whether they are big or they are small. One stitch at a time. Thank you. Bye.